Jacob Reese was born on May 3, 1849, in Rye, Denmark. In 1870, he moved to New York at the age of 21. He then found work as a criminal investigator and a documenter of immigrant life. Reese later found work as a police reporter in 1884, exploring the Lower East Side for the next 10 years. Reese took photographs of lower class people in their homes in the New York slums, known as the Five Points. He would take the photographs by kicking down doors in the slums in the middle of the night. His goal was to try to improve their living conditions by showing the photographs to the middle and upper class people. The people living in the Five Point slums were poor immigrants and their living conditions were unclean. The world forgets easily, too easily, what it does not like to remember. The big thing with Jacob Reese was that he was investigating the lives of poor people and he even wrote a book that was a compendium of a lot of his photos called How the Other Half Lives, where he would capture the lives and living situations of many poor people within New York City, specifically in the tenements. He said that his motivation for showing a really dark tableau was that every man's experience ought to be worth something to the community from which he drew it, no matter what the experience may be. In 1890, one of Reese's most impactful books, How the Other Half Lives, was published. The book presented facts about New York's poverty and had photos from Reese's never-ending tour of the city's worst slums. Reese said that his motiv motivation for showing a really dark tableau was that every man's experience ought to be worth something to the community from which he drew it, no matter what that experience may be. So prior to this, like a lot of rich people had never seen quite how, or not, and not even just rich people, but normal people, had never seen quite how the poorest live because the situation there was so dark it had never been captured on film before. Uh, when they saw that, many people were shocked and Theodore Roosevelt himself had even said that he's arrived to help Jacob Reese to push forward some progressive reforms. When the flashbulb came out, Reese used it on his camera. The flash lamp allowed for higher quality pictures, especially in dark locations like the tenements. He was among the first to use flash powder to photograph. Reese's photos appeared in books, newspapers, and magazines, and they were used as tools for social reform. So Jacob Reese was kind of a predecessor to a lot of the muckraking of the progressive era. His photojournalism changed the way that we record how other people, like the other half, how they live. The big invention that he kind of utilized was flash powder, where you combine gunpowder and magnesium. And in that way, he was able to have that go off within these dark rooms in order to take a successful photograph. So this like photojournalism became something that is even common today. You see all the Pulitzer Prize winning photos and things capturing uh, situations like genocides in Africa, or a lot of the situations going on with the floods down in North Carolina or uh, Puerto Rico. That's all very relevant, the idea of taking a picture to show people just what happens.